What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy, Surf, and I'm back. All right, I'm back with another, hey, I'm still available, and today I'm talking about Tremaine Johnson. Standing in at 6'2", 213 pounds, the 30-year-old cornerback has eight years' experience and from the University of Montana. Arguably the best Montana Grizzly NFL player of all time, though I wouldn't sleep on the great kicker Dan Carpenter. Okay, let's get this here on the table. Johnson's 2019 season was forgettable, and that's being kind. Ankle injuries, finishing the year on IR, only to be released by the Jets. The Jets, two years into a five-year, $72 million contract. You got to be a huge letdown if a team chooses to move on from you that quickly after making that kind of commitment to you. Mind you, it's the Jets. And the new Jets, that believe that signing the highest price free agents at Positions like linebacker and running back what will get you out of a jam, man. That's that's their new motto. Um, you get where I'm going with this, right? Not the best rant organization. So, back to Tremaine. Over his career, he's played a ton of snaps. 102 games total played is a big mark for a corner. I mean, whew, those legs got to go sometime. And he's had his share of injuries over his career. Only three times in eight years has he seen the field in all 16 games. When healthy, Tremaine's days with the Rams were marked by his ability to make a big-time play and also blanket opposing number one receivers. 6'2", long, and plays like it, baby. The only question that remains is, can Johnson regain his, his form that made him one of the most coveted free agents in 2018? Or has injuries and father time took its toll? I tend to lean towards the latter. Looking at the Jets 2018 roster, signing a high priced piece in that secondary with that roster looks like more of a band-aid approach to a gaping wound than than a smart business idea. You, you can't you can't solve eight problems with one really expensive piece. It just does not work that way. Don't believe me? Ask the twenty nineteen Redskins. That Collins signing really made them contenders. Now, my ideal landing spot for Johnson is the Houston Texans. The long reign of Jonathan Joseph has officially came to an end. Man, he turned out to be the best of that crazy 2011 free agent corners. I mean, we all remember Namdi Asma. And I'm very high on Lonnie Johnson, but he's still super raw. So signing the veteran Johnson just makes a ton of sense. Lock him in as one of the outside spots. Use Bradley Roby as the floater, whether it's inside or out, because he's got that ability. And let Johnson battle Conley for that final spot. God, I love training camp battles. I'm so happy that football is coming back. I cannot wait. All right, guys, this has been another Weekend Hangover production. I'm your boy, Surf. Leave us a comment, subscribe, give us a like, all that good stuff. Catch you guys later. Peace.